Hey James, what are you doing? Just playing Mario Kart. Oh cool. Hey, do you want to play Monopoly Gamer with me? Is that Nintendo? It sure is. I love Nintendo. Yeah, I'll play. Cool, alright, I'll go grab Mum and Dad and we can all play. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Grace's room. So I'm really excited because two of the biggest brands, Nintendo and Monopoly, have teamed up to create Monopoly Gamer. So this game will seem familiar to all those Monopoly fans and Nintendo fans, but with a fresh take. Like a lot of those Mario games, you can collect coins, use special powers, and also fight bosses. All right, let's take a look inside. But stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna be having my very next giveaway. So don't go. All right, so here I have the game board. And this looks like most Monopoly game boards. Here I have the instructions and I definitely think I'm going to need these because I have a feeling there's a lot of new rules to this game so I'm just going to need the instructions. I also have the game cards and over here I have two dice, one of the number dice and here I have the power up dice. And lastly, I have all of the characters. Like here, I have got it. Here, I have Mario. Here, I have Princess Peach. Oh wait, not turned around. Here, I have Yoshi. And lastly. Here I have Donkey Kong. But if those characters aren't enough, you can also get special power packs. So you can buy these separately. Like here I have, I have Boo and his character card. And it also includes like a little sticker. That's cute. And you can also get him next to them oh my gosh that's so cute you can also get Diddy Kong and he's got his own little sticker which I'm like actually in love with right now that's I, that's like adorable oh, he's so tiny and you can also get his character card as well but those are not just the only characters you can get you can also get other characters like Luigi, Toad, and Rosalina. So that's really cool. All right, let's get this game board set up. All right, so I just finished setting up the whole board. So like in most Monopoly games, we have all the properties and their property cards underneath each one. And now we also have the boss cards. Here I have the character cards and depending on which character you choose, you get the card that matches your character. And lastly, I have these reminder cards. And these just and this just reminds you what to do when it's your turn. Now, I forgot to mention that instead of notes, we are going to be using coins. So the aim of the game is to earn as many points as you can. So the player with the most points at the end of the game wins the game. The ways you can earn points though is by collecting coins. Another way is by earning properties at the end of the game. So for example, if I earned this property, I would earn 10 points. And the last way to earn points is by beating bosses. So for example, if I beat this boss, I would earn 20 points. So the first thing you need to do is choose your character. I'm Princess Peach. I'm Yoshi. I want to be Donkey Kong. Me too. After you've chosen your character, you can place it on the go. 
So once you're ready, you can roll your number dice and your power up dice together. Now you need to move your character as many spaces forward as it tells you on the number dice. One. And then you look at your power up dice and you can see which ability you have unlocked. Abilities allow you to get coins from the bank, steal coins from others. Yes, I get to steal two coins from someone. Not me. Who will I choose? Not me. Great. Yes! <sighs> Alright. Thank you. Yay! <gasps> or get players to drop coins at their current position. Not fair. Ha <laughs> Which other players can then collect oh. as they go past. I'll take these. And Great. remember, Every time you land on one of the properties, you have to buy it or you can auction it to other players. There's also some special places on the board. For example, here if you land on one of the war pipes, you are instantly transported to the next war pipe. Four. One, two, three. Or when you land on the coin block, you get to roll the dice five and collect coins. that many five. coins from the bank. Four, five. Unfortunately though, when you land on the swamp, you lose two coins. Swamp. Uh -huh. You have to drop two coins on the space, which other players can then collect as they pass by. Five. Like every other Monopoly game, there is a jail. So you do not want to wait on this space, otherwise you know where you end up, in jail. Oh no. Ah, you're in jail. You come visit me? No, I'll think about it. <laughs> Each time a player passes go, they get to fight a boss. Yes, I get to fight a boss. Who do I get? Wendy or Cooper. I have to pay two points to the bank. And after all, four or higher to win. Alright. If the player is able to complete the task that is shown on the boss card, they get to keep the boss and also earn some points. Alright, what did you get, Dad? And after the last boss fight has been completed. What did you get, James? 230. What? What did you get? All the players add up their points to see who has won Monopoly Gamer. I got 290! Oh, I can't believe Mum won. I know. Can we play again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have to. okay. I want to be Mario this time. Well, guys, I really enjoyed this Monopoly game, a board game, and it's really fun. It's one that the whole family can play together. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm going to be having my next giveaway. Four of you guys will have the opportunity to win your very own copy of Monopoly Gamer! Woohoo! The only rule to enter this competition is to be subscribed to both of my channels Grace's World and Grace's Room and to follow me on Instagram. Make sure you leave a comment or emoji on my Monopoly Gamer Instagram post and I'll randomly select four lucky winners. Good luck guys! I hope you guys enjoyed playing Monopoly Gamer as much as I did and I'll see you next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now!